Trader Jose. So we have some new skincare at Trader Jose. Here we have their Nourish line. Came out with a cleansing oil with almond oil. Uh, the oils in this are grapeseed oil and uh, sunflower seed oil, as well as castor seed oil and the sweet almond oil. Uh, cleansing oils are wonderful in that they have emulsifiers that help to uh, allow the oil after it's broken up your dirt, oil, sebum, makeup layer on your skin. The emulsifiers help the uh, product to rinse off. This also, unfortunately, has fragrance, so that's not great. It's not intended to be left on the skin, so it's less risky, but, you know, it's not ideal. And, uh, you know, I personally have got have had great success just using plain mineral oil as an oil cleanse, but a lot of you find that that, that, that leaves an oily film behind, an oily residue. In which case, I do recommend these cleansing oils that have emulsifiers, but the... Um, the uh, Japanese brands of cleansing oils are really great and they don't have added fragrance. Hotelabo and then the Curel one that I'm currently using. But this is an option. Uh, I just wish it didn't have fragrance. So their Microderm Abrasion Scrub Exfoliating Cream kind of terrifies me. It has pumice in it. Now pumice is fantastic for the oh 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 so thick stratum corneum of the soles of your feet, but your face, eek, terrifying. I'm a little nervous about this on the face, to be honest with you guys. You know how I feel about mechanical exfoliants. They can cause a lot of irritation for people and uh, cause problems. That being said, this otherwise seems okay. It doesn't have fragrance. It has licorice root, which is soothing, anti-inflammatory. And it has a variety of uh, oils, which are emollients. It can help soften skin cells. that you are simultaneously agitating with the pumice. Yeah, this seems terrifying to me. I'll, I'll be frank with the pumice in there. Uh, it'd be a nice, potentially a nice uh, gentle cleanser otherwise if they didn't put such harsh ab abrasives. But that being said, this would actually be great on the uh, soles of your feet. Trader Jose also came out with a moisturizing cream shave. Is this new this year? It looks new to me. It's got, I'm guessing, fragrance with honey and mango in there. And yeah, botanical fragrance. You know who has a good, yeah, and lavender. Lavender is fragrance. Uh, you know who has a good, uh, product that I guarantee consistency wise and, and effect in terms of e efficacy is, is just as good as this, uh, is also cruelty free and is fragrance free is um, every man Jack uh, has a fragrance free shave cream. But honestly, it feels more like these, these shave creams. I mean, I don't, I don't really shave my legs cause I had laser hair removal uh, likewise under my arms. But anyways, <laughs> what I'm getting at is these feel just more like a moisturizing cream. They kind of clog up the razor blade. But let me know if you guys use these. If you're going to have skincare, you have to have an eye cream. Eye creams are the most unnecessary thing known to man, but they sell like hotcakes. So if you're, <laughs> if you're a business person and you have a skincare line, you would be remiss to not have an eye cream. This has coenzyme Q10, although, uh, who knows if it's uh, at an effective concentration, obviously they're not disclosing that and is the last ingredient on the list here. Coenzyme Q10 is an antioxidant that is part of our skin's antioxidant system, but it becomes depleted with age and it becomes depleted with exposure to UV, but it can help combat uh, aging. So there's some thought that applying it topically can help replenish endogenous levels. I'm really disappointed though, this has fragrance in it, really bad around the thin skin of the eyelids. Fragrance, by the way, is co-sensitizing. So other ingredients in this, you're more likely to develop a problem too because they put fragrance in here, like the marula seed oil, 
This is obviously not going to be vegan. It has honey, but honey is a wonderful humectant and has antibacterial properties. So that's a good ingredient. And this also has hydrolyzed marine collagen in it, which is basically seaweed. I have a video talking about the benefits of marine extracts in um, skincare products, but they're wonderful humectants. Um, they, they outdo hyaluronic acid in terms of their water binding capacity. Trader Joe's also has a shea butter and coconut oil hair serum with added fragrance that you're supposed to uh, put on to smooth frizz. Now, the issue with these products, so, so this is one that you're gonna put on and then go about your day with it on your hair. These oils will tra can transfer to your face and cause what's called pomade acne or kind of a, like an acne cosmetica. So that's one issue with using stuff like this. And then obviously the fragrance, it's gonna be left on your skin. It's gonna be left on your scalp and can cause allergic contact dermatitis. Just use a little bit of coconut oil and shea butter. Those are good. I mean, they can get on your skin and cause acne cosmetica, but at least you're not using a fragrance. And they're pretty inexpensive things to, to try out. What about their hair mask? Now, this presumably is something that you're going to wash off. So if it's got fragrance in it, then it's a little less risky. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, obviously has fragrance, but again, shea butter and coconut oil, which are great for reducing hygral fatigue. So that's a, a log those are logical ingredients and conditioning products for the hair. It has a variety of emollient oils, argon oil, and sunflower seed oil, which can help add shine to the hair. It's got glycerin, which has, is actually really good for the hair shafts. And then it's got uh, dimethicone, which is going to help cut down on frizz and breakage. It's an anti-static agent almost, as well as a variety of hydrolyzed protein peptides that will help uh, deposit kind of on the uh, uneven surfaces of the hair shaft where you've got frizz and, and breakage due to damage. But this kind of thing uh, is intended to be used, I don't know, just a few times a week, I guess. It definitely can cause a buildup if you're not using a clarifying shampoo consistently. Trader Joe's came out with a lip treatment duo. One of them has SPF in it, but notice it doesn't say broad spectrum anywhere. That's because it only has chemical filters that will protect against UVB. A much better choice is going to be the uh, Vanny Cream Lip SPF that is uh, more broad spectrum. It doesn't look like the lip balm sunscreen has fragrance in it, but the sugar scrub definitely does. I covered sugar scrubs in my review of the fresh sugar sugar scrub for the lip. Lemongrass coconut body oil. So oils on the skin are not fantastic moisturizers. Yeah, moisturize the skin without being greasy. It's because you oils are just kind of emollient, or just emollients. They don't really seal and trans-epidermal water loss or deliver, um, they don't deliver hydration to the skin. They're not humectants. They just smooth over uneven skin, like rough spots. Coconut oil has been shown to be helpful for eczema. I, as I pointed out in my video on coconut oil, it can cause uh, flares of acne. Olive oil is not a good emollient to include as uh, moisturizer in moisturizing products because it's actually been shown to increase trans epidermal water loss. Hypoallergenic means nothing. Having fragrance in here makes this much more likely for your skin to come in and develop an allergy to things, including the fragrance. A, I mean, A, they're not good for the environment, but B, they uh, leave a residue behind on the skin, and that can increase your chances of developing a contact dermatitis. They're, they're actually a frequent cause of allergic contact dermatitis. The preservatives kind of leave a, a film on the skin. Whoa, is this new? Rizzoni, a legume-based grain alternative. I've seen that right rice brand before. This looks like a Trader Joe's dupe for that. Comment below on if you guys have tried it. I love uh, Bonza. I'd like to try that sometime. I hear this stuff is good. So it looks like Trader Joe's got in quite a bit of new skincare this year so far. The eye cream, the hair stuff, the lip stuff. I'm sad to see that the majority of it has fragrance in it. You see, here's the issue with the narrative of the natural skincare. Most people don't realize that lavender is fragrance because they're so used to seeing free of synthetic fragrance that they don't, people don't realize that lavender is the same thing. Fragrance and fragrance mix are just manufacturers taking different elements of natural fragrance and combining them together to get a unique fragrance. That blend, they're not required to disclose what that is. It usually contains things like uh, limonene, linalu, uh, citral, citronellol. Those are common compounds that are isolated from plants to create a signature fragrance. 
but those compounds are also in uh, flowers and, and a lot of, you know, kind of natural extracts that you wouldn't necessarily pick up on as being fragrance. And so when I say that, people are always like, well, this is a non-aromatic. Just because you can't detect it with your nose doesn't mean that those compounds are not present. So fragrance is just an umbrella term for a variety of compounds that when applied to the skin can be uh, are, are a common cause of allergic contact dermatitis and are co-sensitizing, which means that they increase the chances that other ingredients that you're using at the same time, your immune system will re mount a response to. Um, and the other problem with fragrance compounds is that many of them are vasodilators, which means that they dilate the blood vessels in the skin, which leads to more redness, more inflammation, that can contribute to discoloration. In terms of rosacea, that obviously can exacerbate rosacea, which is characterized by flushing and redness, but it also can contribute to melasma. A component of the pathophysiology of melasma also involves uh, blood vessels and vasodilation and redness. So they're definitely problematic in that regard. And then lastly, a lot of fragrance compounds are photosensitizing, meaning putting them on your skin makes it a uh, problem when you go out and the skin is exposed to ultraviolet radiation or even UV radiation that comes in through the windows is uh, potentially can interact with those compounds and cause irritation in your skin. So those are more reasons to avoid it. It's worse in leave-on products like moisturizers, sunscreens, uh, eye creams than it is in wash-off forms, but once you develop an allergy to it, you have to avoid it at all costs. And that can be very challenging because it is so, so common. Speaking of sun coming through the window glass, my application this morning, as a reminder, is my second application of the day, the one you saw me put on in the car. That is not the first time I put sunscreen on. The first time that you put sunscreen on, you should put it on 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes before going outside to give the uh, film forming ingredients time to set up on your face and the filters time to set up if you're using uh, chemical only sunscreen, but uh, really any sunscreen you should put on 15 to 20 minutes before going outdoors. Once you do that, when you reapply, you don't have to be so uh, steadfast with not being outdoors because that makes it challenging and is unnecessary if that makes sense but yeah you got these uh bombas how are these peanut They're snacks very good. They're a little bit like, uh, nutter, but nutter, nutter puffs ones, nutter puffs but they don't seem to have as much peanutty peanutty goodness yeah <laughs> Ooh, speaking, yeah, lemongrass is one of those that is uh, essentially has comp compounds that are, are fragrance ingredients. But that restaurant is called Lemongrass. That's why I remembered that. We were just That's talking about sign. that. Yeah. I also got the, uh, the little pita chips. Oh, those look good. Oh, I love sesame anything. Yeah, those would be good with uh, hummus. Yeah. Or cool. Whatever. With the green pita chips. Those does. got flax seeds and cornmeal. I was tempted to buy the uh, peeled garlic because oh. it's so I'm lazy. <laughs> but I, I was holding it and then I put it back. It's like you don't need this. You can peel your your own garlic for mm -hmm. heaven's sakes. <laughs> you just uh, you just got caught at the train. <laughs> yeah, what did that take? Like ten minutes or so? That's a long one. Yeah. Waiting at the train, I got the urge to go to Lowe's. My mom wants to look at the plants. Yeah. They had some good looking ones in Trader Joe's, little tulips and whatnot. They did, but they uh, die so easily. <laughs> hey, Tybee Bo, did you have fun here? Oh, yeah. I'm due for a haircut. I'm getting shaggy. He's going to the groomer this week. <laughs> Your little teddy bear. <laughs> Go get it, silly. Oh, you want to play with turtle? I want you to throw turtle. So, my mom is storing all of his toys in here, and he knows they're in there. He parked himself out 
next to this and started barking at it, insisted we open it. But it's really adorable. When you open it, he goes in there and picks a toy. It's the cutest thing ever. Let's see, he wants to do it now. Let's see if he'll do it. You want to get a toy, even though you've got enough? He'll climb in there. I think I want this one. You want ladybug? Or your sunscreen? It's good stuff in here. Help! <laughs> oh, 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 my toys are squishy. <laughs> That's your ball? Come on out. <laughs> oh, Tybee, you're stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Can't get in. You can do it. Push your hind leg up. There you go. My mom made this. Oops. <laughs> Blueberry or mixed berry oatmeal, baked oatmeal. It came out really good. I'm gonna have some for breakfast this morning. You got this recipe off of a blog? Yeah, they're called the, uh, the Ferruti family. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it was really interesting because the crust is nothing more than banana and oatmeal. Oh, okay. Four bananas and I think two cups of oatmeal. Oh. Mash it together, make your crust, and then um, I put blueberries and cherries oh, cool. on top. Bake it for half a, 45 minutes mm. at 350. Then you let it cool and refrigerate it. Mm -hmm. And then you can cut it. Cool. It cuts really well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just topped it with some unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt and pumpkin seeds and a prune. Love my prunes. <laughs> There's some unsweetened coconut flakes in there. Oh, yeah, that, that would, would also be good, good too. too, yeah. Ooh, pretty flowers. Instant mood boost. Get some tulips. Very festive the daffodils. Look at, look at this little dog in Lowe's. How cute to see. Did you find something? That's nice. I have a place I want to put it in that box. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Well, I was not expecting to buy this, but I think it'll look nice in my apartment. It is a uh, mass cane indoor plant, like a tree. So yeah, got that and a little drippy drip tray down there. Hopefully I don't kill it. <laughs> Welcome home. It looks nice there. Yeah, it's nice to have a plant inside. It just cleans the air and whatnot. So I'm glad to have that. Hopefully it stays alive, fingers crossed. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlogs this weekend and today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.